Let's talk Sugami today with my buddy Frank, and we're going to talk about the technical aspects of this particular Sugami. We're going to learn all about the unique characteristics that might be able to help you understand more about this particular machine. So, Frank, it's good to meet you. It's nice good to, to meet see you. you. I'm happy to be here. Let's talk about this machine. Absolutely. First and foremost, Frank, let's talk about the three path control. What mm -hmm. are the unique benefits of this? Well, we can get three tools in a cut at a time. Um, so the front gang, the rear gang, and the subspindle are all independent slides, and we can um, pinch turn, pinch mill, as well as do overlapping back operations at the same time. So we can get a lot more done in less time. Absolutely right, and I've seen some really incredible videos online about this, watching it go. And these are the ones that actually fascinate the audience as well, watching all of these operations happen simultaneously, mm -hmm. whether it's that pinch turning you mentioned or just all the action going on. Where do you find the unique benefits in that? Is it just reduced cycle times? Where else do you see it? Reduced cycle time, improving the processing, sometimes by pinch milling or pinch turning. You're getting rid of chatter or other imperfections in the part. Um, yeah, we do see chatter from time to time, and it's good to get rid of it because any secondary operations are just going to cost us more time and more money. Exactly right. But as we move on, let's talk about oscillating. And before we get into how this machine now can do oscillating, let's describe what it actually is for some of the audience that doesn't understand the difference between what it may or may not be. Well, the current form of oscillation cutting is servo learning oscillation cutting, which automatically compensates for error in the servo motors. Um, on this machine, we can do, use oscillation cutting on all three tool paths. So we can use it for turning operations to break the chip in, in materials that have a tendency to make long stringy chips. Um, historically, people would put M0, M, M0s zero in the program, a program stop, so that an operator could open the door and pull long stringy chips out of the machine. This eliminates the need for human intervention on stringy materials like aluminum, um, oxygen-free coppers, Delrins, materials like that. So, I've machined platinum, and platinum was one of those ones that used to get wrapped up all the time. This would have been a perfect application, and this is when we see those videos where it almost looks like we're running an oval part or something, right? Yeah. This is what it looks like, that's what we're doing. Yep, yep. And it's uh, making slow oscillations while it's turning, and we can adjust the frequency of oscillation and the amount of oscillation to help break up that chip. So there's some adjustments to it. Could have used it, my friend. Absolutely. I cut myself like barbed wire with platinum back in the day. So let's talk about the user friendliness of this, some of the other attributes that it might have. I see it's a FANUC control. We're very familiar with FANUC control these days, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a native FANUC control. And one of the advantages that Sagami offers customers is we have our own programming software that's made by the manufacturer that's included in the price of the machine. So by describing the part, describing the tooling in the machine, it's kind of multiple guess. You need to tell it the tool nose radius, the angle of the tool, drill diameters, and then you describe the part, and it automatically programs the machine for you, gets you all your weight codes, your synchronization codes, does machine simulation, gives you cycle time information. It's great to use for quoting. Well, Frank, I heard you touch base real quickly on a free software. Can we talk more about that? Absolutely. ABIL software, it's made by the factory in Sagami in Japan for each model-specific machine. Um, so there's several versions of it for the different models of machines. And this is free. Just to reiterate, this is free? It's included in the price of the machine, yes. Now when we get to the inside of this machine, I see it's a fairly manageable footprint and there's a lot of different options inside of it that allow me to do multiple operations. Do we have live tooling? What's the spindle uh, speed in there like? What's the uh, footprint of the part that I can put in there, max size? Any of that kind of information you could offer the audience as yeah, well. Yeah, max diameter for, for a part on this machine, it's a 20 millimeter machine, so we can run 20 millimeter, and with some options, we can run up to one inch bar without bar prep. Um, the main spindle goes up to 10,000 RPM, the subspindle also 10,000 RPM. The front gang driven tools go up to 8,000 RPM. Um, there's Y-axis milling capability with three tools at a time on this machine. Um, so we can do um, pinch milling flats on the main spindle side as well as milling flats or cross drilling on the sub spindle simultaneously. <laughs> Guys, thank you all for watching. This is my buddy Frank, my Italian brother over here with Sugami. <laughs> and I hope you've learned as much today as I have. Frank, you're amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you. Enjoy it.